All right, come on. Oh Lord, we praise your name. Oh Lord, say, Oh Lord, we praise your name. Yes. Welcome back to another segment of Restored Souls to Christ Radio Show, where your radio host is Pastor Brenda D. Wilson. We give God glory and honor and praise for being back on this air broadcast one more time. Amen. Let somebody know that he's a keeper, he's a way maker, he's a burden bearer. He's a way out of no way. He's the wheel in the middle of a wheel. Come on, somebody. Tell him about God. Amen. Let him know that he, he is everlasting. Amen. With all power in his hand. Oh, Lord, we bless your name. We bless your name tonight, Father. And tonight, we get ready to hear from your radio host. As always, Wednesday night at 8 o'clock, Pastor Brenda D. Wilson is the radio host for this evening. And we thank God for us being back here on the broadcast one more time. Listen. Share this on your Facebook page, your Instagram page, your Twitter page. You can also copy paste the link and share it to people email. Again, we want you to support this broadcast locally. We know that around the world they tune in. But right here at home, we want more listeners. Amen. So give God glory and praise. And at this time, we give the woman of God a hand clap. Come on, everybody. Good evening, and welcome to the Restoring Souls to Christ radio show. I am your host for this evening, Pastor Brenda D. Wilson from Duncanville, Texas. Before we go into our show tonight, let's go into prayer. Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, on tonight I come to you, thanking you for your goodness and your mercy, thanking you for your forgiveness, asking that you create in me a clean heart and renew a right spirit in me that There will be nothing, nothing that will hinder my prayers for getting to you. I ask that you bless your people tonight as they listen to your word, that some soul may cry out and say, what must I do to be saved? In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Tonight I would like to um, share with you from 1 Corinthians, the 13th chapter, beginning at the first verse. Though I speak with the tongue of men and angels and have not charity, I am become as sounding brass or a tingling cymbal. And though I have the gift of prophecy and understand all mysteries and all knowledge, and though I have all faith so that I could remove mountains and have no charity, I am nothing. And though I bestow all my goods to feed the poor, And though I give my body to be burned and have not charity, it profited me nothing. Charity suffereth long and is kind. Charity envieth not. Charity, one of not itself, is not puffed up. Does not behave itself unseemly. Seeketh not her own. Is not easily provoked. Thinketh no evil. Rejoiceth not in iniquity, but rejoiceth in the truth. Beareth all things, believeth all things, hopeth all things, endureth all things. Charity never faileth, but whether there be prophecies, they shall fail. Whether there be tongues, they shall cease. Whether there be knowledge, it shall vanish away. For we know in part, and we prophesy in part. But when that which is perfect is come, then that which is in part shall be done away. When I was a child, I spake as a child. I understood as a child. I thought as a child. But when I became a man, I put away childish things. For now we see through a glass, darkly, but then face to face. Now I know in part, but then shall I know even as also I have known. Now abide faith, hope, charity, these three, but the greatest of these is charity. And I want to talk to you a little bit about the love of God. And I want to just share a few other scriptures with you concerning the love of God. And my thought for you tonight is, if loving God is wrong, If loving Jesus is wrong, 
I don't want to be right. Glory to God. First in, in Romans 5 and 8, it reads, But God commended his love toward us, in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died. Glory to God. Then in 1 John 4 and 19, it reads, We love him because he first loved us. In John 3 and 16, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son. 1 John 4 and 16, And we have known and believed the love that God hath for us. God is love, and he that dwelleth in love dwelleth in God. And God in him. Glory to God. Father, if loving you is wrong, I don't want to be right. Then we just read 1 Corinthians 13 and 13. And now about it, faith, hope, and charity. These three. But the greatest of these is charity. The greatest of every, of all of that is love. So Father, if loving you is wrong, I don't want to be right. Paul said that, Though I speak with tongues of men and of angels and have not love, I become sounding brass or a tinkling cymbal. In other words, if you do all of this, you can have the gift of speaking in tongues and, and, and of angels. And if you don't have love, you're just making noise. Glory to God. So, Father, if loving you is wrong, I don't want to be right. And Paul said in the second verse, And though I have the gift of prophecy, and understand of all mysteries and all knowledge, and though I have all faith, so that I can remove mountains and have not have no charity, I am nothing. You must have love. And Father, in the name of Jesus, if loving you is wrong, I don't want to be right. And though I bestow all my goods to feed the poor, that, that means you can feed the hungry every Saturday. You can have a pantry, a food pantry, and you feed people all week long. You can have a clothes closet and you, you give clothes to the poor. You can have a homeless shelter and you can invite the people in and make sure they're all right out of the cold and that they'll, they can take baths and be, and be clean and refreshed every day. But if you do it just for show and not out of love, it profit you nothing. So, Father, if loving you is wrong, I don't want to be right. Glory to God. Hallelujah. You got to have love. Out of all you do in this world, whatever you do, do it in love. Because God is love. He is nothing but love. The meaning of love is is God. So, Father, if loving you is wrong, I don't want to be right. I, I, I'm like Paul. I, I, I want to know that whatever I do, I do it unto the glory of God. I want to be uh, used for the master's use. I want to be fit for his use. If loving him is wrong, I don't want to be right. And Paul says in the third verse, And though I bestow all my goods to feed the poor, and though I give my body to be burned, and have not charity, it profit me nothing. So you can give up your life. You can sacrifice your life. But if you've done it just because and you didn't do it out of love, then it profits you nothing. So, Lord, whatever I do, sacrificing my life, sacrificing my time, sacrificing whatever it is, if I don't do it out of love, it profits me nothing. So, Father, if loving you is wrong, I don't want to be right. Charity suffers long. That means you're going to go through some stuff when you love people. And it's kind. And when you're going through, you be kind to people. Because they be mean to you don't mean you need to be mean to them. You got the, If you got the love of God in you, it won't allow you to treat people the way they treat you. Charity doesn't envy. It don't want what you got. It don't, it don't want... To, it doesn't cover it after the things that you have. They, If you got love, you'll trust God. you trust him to, that the same God that blessed them can bless you. And so, Father, if loving you is wrong, I don't want to be right. Charity is not vulnerable itself. Not, it's not puffed up. That means you can't, if, if you got love, this is how I believe. If you got the love of Christ in your heart, you, you don't go around puffed up. One minute, people, you can laugh and smile and be nice to people. And the next minute, 
you got your lips all balled up and you're rolling your eyes at people. Father, if loving you is wrong, I don't want to be right. And verse 5 says, doesn't, it doesn't act unseemly. It seeketh not her own. It's not easily provoked. And it think it love thinketh no evil. Glory to God. It doesn't rejoice in iniquity, but rejoiceth in the truth. You don't be happy about sin and seeing people in their sin if you got the love of Christ. Glory to God. It beareth all things, believeth all things, and it hopeth all things, and, and endureth all things. So that means you're going to go through some things. You and, and if you do endure it with the love of Christ in your heart, you can't fail because you got the victor inside of you. You got the master inside of you. You got love on the inside of you. So, Father, if loving you is wrong, I don't want to be right. Glory to God. Charity, it never fails. So, so no matter what happens, it, you still have to show love because the Lord let us know that there's nothing we can do that can separate us from his love. But rather, whether there be prophecies, they shall fail. Whether there be tongues, they shall cease. All this stuff is going to cease now. Everything but love. Whether there be knowledge, it shall vanish. So you can get all the books since you want or have all the knowledge you can have. But it's, it's going to fade away one day. But love will not fail. fail I'm sorry, will not fail. Glory to God. For we know in part. That means we don't know everything. There are mysteries we may never know. We prophesy in part. That means we get we can only tell partial. We can't tell the whole story. Glory to God. But we got to do it in love. But when that which is perfect is come, which I believe is Jesus, then that which is in part shall be done away. So the stuff here on earth is going to be done away when Jesus makes his turn. His return. Glory to God. Then Paul said, when I was a child, I, I spake as a child. And I understood as a child. I thought as a child. But when I became a man, I put away childish things. So it, it's time to grow up. It, it's time to grow up and put away childish things. For now we see through a glass darkly, but then face to face. We may not see it clearly now. But but when, after a while, we're going to see. We're going to see it clearly. The word of God is a mirror to us. But if loving God is wrong, I don't want to be right. Now we see through a glass darkly, but then face to face. Now I know in part, but then shall I know even as I also am known. And now about it, faith, hope, and charity. But the greatest of these, I say to you again, is love. So whatever you do, I don't care if you build the biggest cathedral. I don't care if your church is packed from front to back. I don't care if you can preach that house down. But if you don't do it in love, then it profits you nothing. If you don't do it with the love of Christ, it profits you nothing. Because it's no need to get up and preach the house down and it be mean as a snake after you don't finish preaching to people, trying to draw souls to God. So, Father, with all my heart, if loving you is wrong, I don't want to be right. I want to love people with a sincere heart. I want people to feel the love of, of God from me. I want the, that genuine love that can endure for all things. Glory to God. Suffer things. Suffer long. Because one of the fruits of the Spirit is long suffering. One that we don't really enjoy. But if we want to grow in, in God, we have to go through long suffering. Glory to God. So God, if loving you is wrong, I don't want to be right. I want to love like the Bible said. I want to treat people the way I want to be treated. I want people to cry out and say, what must I do to be saved after I've shown them the love of Christ through my life, the way that I live? I don't want, I don't want to be one that preaches to people and, and, and live another way because that's being a hypocrite. And I know none of us are perfect. I know this. But if you walk in love, the love of God, you'll never fail. 
Only what we do for Christ will last. Glory to God. And on tonight, I praise God. I praise God for the love of God. Because if when you ask Christ to come into your heart, forgive you of every one of your sins, take you into his royal family, you become a child of the king. And you can't help but love. Because the word of God said the old things, the old man has passed away. Behold, all things become new because you have the love of Christ. I don't know about you, but I remember when I got saved and the Lord came into my life and turned my life around. I remember years ago they used to sing this song. I looked at my hands and my hands looked new. I looked at my feet and they did too. And I tell you all, when I came through from God touching me and delivering me from my sins, Everything looked different. All I could see, all I could feel was love. So if loving God is wrong, I don't want to be right. I don't, I'd rather have the, the love of Christ in me and know with an assurity that I'm going to see his face. I'm going to see him face to face in peace one day. Then I want to have his love. I can't say I love God who I've never seen and don't love my brother that I see every, my brothers and sisters that I see every day. So people of God know that when you receive Christ into your heart, he fills it with love. He fills it with peace. He fills it with joy. He, he fills it with all that you need. Now, I don't, I don't mean life is not going to bump you around. You're not going to go through tests and trials. But if you have Jesus Christ on the inside, you cannot fail. You cannot fail. If you stand on his promises and trust his word, you cannot fail. So if loving God is wrong, I don't want to be right. I'm so in love with Jesus that I, I just don't know what to do. I'm excited about the love of Christ. And I want you that are listening to this radio broadcast to know it's not too late. As long as there is breath, there's hope. Glory to God. As long as there's breath, there is hope. So if you are listening to this radio broadcast on tonight and you have backslidden, you have fallen from grace, we have an advocate and his name is Jesus Christ. If you go to him, ask him to forgive you of your sin and mean it from your heart. In the name of Jesus, Father, take me back. Forgive me of every one of my sins. Glory to God. He will do it. He will do it because the Father sent his only begotten son, Jesus Christ. Glory to God. To come down here to redeem us back to him. Because the word of God declares that for God so loves the world that he gave his only begotten son. And whosoever believeth in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. Now in that scripture, in that particular scripture, John three sixteen, it said whosoever believeth. That means a continuation of believing. Don't just believe why the preacher is praying for you. Glory to God. And then when it's over with, you don't believe it anymore. Glory to God. Being a Christian and living holy is not a religion. It's a lifestyle. So if loving God is wrong, I don't want to be right. If serving Jesus is wrong, I don't want to be right. I, I thank God on tonight for, for him coming into my life. And I pray that something has been said on tonight to encourage your heart that love is the key to it all. And you can't love right if you don't have the Lord in your life. So he loves you with the unconditional love. And some things I've said tonight may have been repetitive, but I just want you to get it in your heart. Get it in your spirit that it's not too late to cry out. And ask, what must I do to be saved? Jesus is standing with his arms wide open. He's waiting for you to open the doors of your heart. So cry out to him tonight. He loves you. He said he won't cast you away. Glory to God. So if you come to him tonight with a sincere heart, 
Glory to God. And ask him to come into your heart and live with you, within you. You'll never regret it a day in your life. Glory to God. You're going to still go through the trials and tests of life. But the thing about it is, if you take his yoke upon you and learn of him, you'll see that his yoke is easy and his burden is light. When it seems like it's so heavy that you think you can't bear it, cry out to him and he will answer you. That's what he said. He told us in Isaiah that before we call, he will answer. And while we're yet speaking, he will hear. So we have a father who sent his son and left the comforter, which is the Holy Spirit, to keep us and teach us through all these tests and trials. We we can do, we can live right with the love of Christ on the inside. of We can't do it by ourselves. We need him. We need him. So tonight, I want to encourage your hearts to turn it over to Jesus. Whatever it may be, whether it be sickness, whether it be addiction, whether it be uh, mental illness, whether it be a broken heart, whatever it is, turn it over to Jesus and he will make it all right. So I pray that you've been blessed by the word of God on tonight. I pray that something was said to make you, uh, to let you know that God loves you and there's nothing you can do about it. And, and, and I want you to know that his love is sure and it's pure. His love is pure. Glory to God. And I thank him on tonight for just being God. So that's what I have for you tonight. And my prayer tonight is, Father God, in the name of Jesus, may these radio listeners be restored back to you on tonight. In, the, in Jesus' name, I do pray. Amen and amen. Glory to God. I want to thank you for joining us on tonight. I want to thank God for uh, being able to come on the radio show again. Glory to God. I honor him for just being God. I'm so excited about the things of God. Glory to God. So I pray that you can join us next Wednesday night. Glory to God. Same time at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 7 p.m. Central Time, right here at the TMA radio station. Glory to God. So if you want to drop us a line, we would love to hear from you. Our email address is restoration, C-O-N-N-F-M-I-N dot love at yahoo.com. Again, that's restoration, C-O-N-F. M-I-N dot love at yahoo dot com. Glory to God. And tonight I want to honor God and thank God for Pastor Ackridge and the TMA radio station for allowing us the space. And thanks, thank God for our two faithful sponsors out of Newport News, Virginia. To God be the glory jewels. And the number there is 757-347-1360. Again, to God be the glory, Jules, from Newport News, Virginia, where the number is 757-347-1360. And we would like to thank uh, our faithful partners, CT Management Solution, also out of Newport News, Virginia, where the number there is 757-272-4885. And until next time... I pray that you could join us again and be blessed. And I apologize, I forgot to mention, this Friday, the 12th, this Saturday, the 13th, and Sunday, the 14th, we will be celebrating our church anniversary, our third year church anniversary at 555 Creech Road in Ghana, North Carolina, at New Beginning Church, Christian Church in Ghana. Again, that's 555 Creech Road in Ghana, North Carolina, in the new begin at the New Beginning uh, Church there in Ghana. And on Friday and Saturday night, it will be uh, preaching with yours truly at 7:30 p.m. And on Sunday afternoon at 4 p.m., we will be having a gospel explosion. Uh, we will have three awesome groups. We will have Robert Taylor and Determination. We will have the Bass Sisters, 
and we have we will have the group called Chosen. And I'm expecting God to do great and marvelous things like he promised us he would. Glory to God. And after the, the gospel singing on uh, Sunday night, we will serve you dinner. You will have a dinner, not a snack. You will have a dinner. So invite your friends, invite your neighbors, even invite your enemies. Come out and enjoy our third year anniversary New Restoration Conference Ministries. Until next time, God bless you and good night. Amen. You have been listening to Restoring Souls to Christ radio show. And that was none other than your radio host, Pastor Brenda D. Wilson, sharing the message on uh, on this evening. That, and I know you were blessed because I was blessed. Amen. If loving God is wrong, then I don't want to be right. If, if loving Jesus is wrong, I, I don't want to be right. I don't know about nobody else. I'm just like Pastor Brenda. Amen. I'm going to love him to the day I die because I know without him, I'm nothing. And I just give God glory and honor for the woman of God sharing a message of encouragement to all our listeners around the world and here in America. We love you. Continue to be a, a, a loving support of this radio ministry and love on your neighbor your next door neighbor the neighbor in the next town the neighbor in the next city the neighbor in the next state the neighbor in the next country those are neighbors amen so we thank god for all of you again meet us back here tomorrow uh, next wednesday night at eight o'clock p.m eastern standard time and 7 p.m central time and we hope that you will share this on your facebook page your instagram your twitter page and invite your, your, your people on your Facebook page to tune in each and every week at 8 o'clock. Amen. So we're going to continue. And uh, I don't think we'll be having the Men to Men Talk Back show tonight. Um, tonight's my birthday. I did just get rushed home to uh, get situated. But uh, we may not do it tonight because we're trying to do the live and the radio all at the same time. So we, we may do a test run tonight. And I'm on contact pastor call and see if we might can do a test run if not we'll be back next wednesday night at nine o'clock but anyway know that jesus is lord and know that he has everything in his hand regardless of your struggle your problems your issue your setbacks regardless of whatever god got it amen so we thank you so much for tuning in and let this uh song bless you on the way out And 11, God's been good to you. God's been great to you. And he deserves a great praise. Hallelujah. We bless your name. We honor your name. We reverence your name. Nobody like you, Lord. I just want to thank you. I just want to thank you. Come on, one more time. Every heart, let's sing. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Come on. Thank you, Lord. Come on, sing it from the bottom of your heart. Thank you. Give a praise. Clap your hands and give a praise.